What's up guys, we're back here with another video and today we're going to be looking at my first ever automatic knife. Now this is not an OTF, this is a OTS um, outside auto and this is the Buck Deploy and it is one of their pro series, the 830, I think it's 838, um, USA made, forever warranty and we're gonna do an unboxing. There's not really much videos on this knife out there besides shorts. There's one other video I saw, it's really nice. Um, there might be two out there, I forget though. But let's see what we have in here. So, slide that out. It's just a sleeve. Um, really, really nice box, honestly. Um, I actually keep it in the box, but I don't know. I do carry this knife though too, as you'll be able to see. So magnets there too. You can see there's there's circles there and there. There are magnets. And then if you guys want to pause and read that. Um, there you go. Uh see the magnets going there. That's where they connect out, I guess you can say. Um, comes in like this sleeve that like a Benchmade comes in. And then under this stuff are operating instructions and stuff and your warranty card. Um, all right. I'll leave all that in the bottom. That stuff back. see what the knife looks like. It's a really nice looking knife. Oh, I don't want that sticking out, that's gonna annoy me. Now we're gonna put the sleeve back on that aside so here is the knife itself um i think it's the 838 yes the 838 deploy so deep carry pocket clip um it's light um i think this is aluminum but not as light as like a bug out if you guys know what a kershaw link feels like this is a system um, probably about the same weight almost, but USA buck, 154 CM steel, and here we go. So you can tell that I have carried, and look at the safety there. Um, there's a little bit of wear there, there's some wear back here. Um, and you can see up here. Now, this does go in my pocket with my Surefire G2. I think it's the G2X. Um, let's see. Let's open the knife. So safety, red means hot. Red means fire, just like a shotgun or you know any firearm. Uh, so I heard a guy complain about the color. That doesn't or the shiny. That doesn't really bother me. Um, they make this in like a gray color too, but, and then the button's red and I think the safety might be red. I don't think it is, but the, I know the button's red. One more quick look. All right, I know you guys are biting your fingernails. Deep carry pocket clip that attaches up here. I'd imagine it's reversible. All right, so red means hot. Here's the fire button. And you can close it with one hand. And when you do fire it, turn the safety on, you cannot close it. Safety off, you can close it. Um, safety on here. You can see it does push it and then it does push the button. Have you pressed it on the blade though? No, 
No, I'm, this is my first auto. Probably many more to come. But let's see. This is a nice pocket knife here. Um, it does not fire very hard, as you can see. You can see my hand goes back just a little tiny bit. It's kind of like just a little tiny shock, I guess you could say. If you're left-handed, I guess you could use this knife. Just, I don't know. I don't think that they make a left-handed version. Don't quote me on that though. So 150, this is my first 154 CM knife from factory. That is sharp and sharp. All right, so it's like a, is it a fire? Like I said, it's, so that's safe, that's fire. And here's the button right there. And now the blade just does not close. You gotta press the button again for, you've never seen an auto. All right, let's get some size comparisons. Um, close, Kershaw link. Gotta get the good old buck 110, which is, is this a 110? Yeah, this is a 110. Which the 110's actually really, really similar in size. I think until you open the blade. Definitely a difference. Um, who bench made bug out? Which surprised me because I thought the bug out would be about the same size. Now I have compared these off video, and there's a difference. Kershaw link. Definitely a bit of difference. Um, oh, new fixed blade, the hook extract, extract, extract. Just a little bit bigger on the buck. I do recommend buying this knife too. If you guys have not seen my video, go um, video, go watch it. M4 steel. Um, I guess you can do a comparison with the blade open on the P4. Look at the pliers. Um, let me see. If I have another knife here, I'll let you guys admire that. Buck 117, Brahma, Brahma, I think, as expected. I have the 102, but I'd have to really dig in my hunting bag to get that out. So, I asked, um, was, I don't know what I, I posted on YouTube, should I buy, uh, or what switchblade should I buy? I said, it's probably going to be a buck. It was. It was between this and the Hogue K320A. I, I'm going to do some reposts out here on, like, the bug out. That'll be coming soon. Um, I think I'm going to do another review on the P4. Because some of the videos I've done, like, they were on my bed. And we did not have my garage built. So, we're going to come out here and do some more reviews, some more dedicated but why carry an auto over a manual so this is a manual 
Here's the reason why. It's just cooler. There's really no reason. Um, this is really a good knife. Um, I say a lot of good stuff about Buck. Um, would I care? Which one would I carry? The bug out or the or the buck auto, the deploy. I'd rather carry not the knife with better steel. I don't I think S30 is worse or be, is better than 154. This is going to be easier to sharpen, and the blade edge is wider. Look at the blade edge on here. It's extremely thin. It's really hard to sharpen, um, and I don't use a belt to sharpen mine. So that is really going to be the end of the video of the Buck Deploy. Um, do I recommend buying this knife? Yes, I do. No, I did not cut myself. But um, from factory, very sharp. Um, Buck Forever warranty is amazing. I've never had to send anything back. Thank goodness. But do I recommend this? Yes. If you guys do have any questions about the knife, um, please do comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.